Welcome to the Balanced and Unbalanced Forces Labs. As we've been studying forces, we notice that balanced forces are forces on an object that are equal in size and opposite in direction. They cancel each other out. And when forces are no longer balanced, they are unbalanced and that will cause a change in motion. A force must also overcome the force of friction before an object will move. We're going to explore today with some different labs, balanced and unbalanced forces. Lab 1, the balancing toothpick. All right, let's look at our materials for the balancing toothpick. I'm using a salt shaker and it's got that hole in there. You can use something else that you can put a toothpick in. So you need two toothpicks and then you're gonna need two forks. Put one toothpick into your objects like the potato or your salt shaker. And then you're gonna take both of your forks and you're gonna mash them together so they're stick together like that. Put that other toothpick between them and balance it on your finger. Once you've balanced it and found the center of gravity, you're going to set that other toothpick on top of the toothpick on the salt shaker and let it balance. Okay, this isn't so easy. I'm gonna keep trying. Oh, let me try again. All right, another try. And another one. Am I ever going to get it? Oh yeah, I was able to balance those forces. First I found the center of gravity on the toothpick that is connected to the forks, and then I was able to set it on that stationary toothpick in the salt shaker. Hmm, how else could we do this? You could use um, just one toothpick and try to balance it on the edge of a drinking glass. This lab is not the easiest one to do, but it's really cool when you do finally get it. And you can see those balanced forces. They're on that object and they're equal in size and opposite in direction. They're canceling each other out. It's time for lab two, the balancing toys. I have the game Animal Upon Animal. And what this game is, is a balancing game. It's full of a whole bunch of wooden animals and you have to start with the alligator and when it's your turn, you have to put an animal on. It has to either touch one that was already there or um, be on top of one. And if you make it fall, then you lose. So this is kind of like Jenga or some other games that you might know where you're having to balance so you can win. You don't have to have this game to do this challenge either. You could use other objects to do this lab, like coins or dice. Candy, like Smarties, would work really well too. So what you're trying to do is balance all of these and uh, get those balanced forces and then you'll sometimes notice when they unbalance because that's when they fall. It's time for lab three. House of Cards. When I was a kid, I used to love taking a deck of cards and building houses made out of cards. And it really requires equal forces to be able to hold these cards up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put those two cards like that together and then you can put one on either side and then one on top. And you can keep going and build a whole bunch of them but be careful, they fall down. When these cards become unbalanced, look and see what forces cause them to become unbalanced. There's certainly more than one way to build a house of cards. This style right here is similar to what I'm using, but it's a little different. And it went up to make some sort of pyramid. 
there are some people that can make really impressive houses of cards. Like this guy made a whole bunch of skyscrapers made out of cards. Wow. There are so many different houses of card styles and techniques you can use to balance those forces to hold your cards up. How are you gonna get it to work? Those are our choices for balanced and unbalanced forces labs. I'm excited to see what you pick and come up with. Remember, you can be creative. We are trying to make sure that we can see what balanced forces are and what unbalanced forces are. Remember, balanced forces are forces on objects that are equal in size and opposite in direction. Basically, they're not moving. And an unbalanced force is a force that is caused by a change in motion. So that means it'd be falling down or it's moving. So let me see what kind of balanced and unbalanced forces you can find. That's all for me. Take care. Peace.